Hello, everybody. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. This is a uh, little Snake Pit Live kicking off. Uh, I'm sure you can see in the corner there, Fall League 2020. Very exciting. I think we're stoked to get the league going. We're stoked to be out of the cave and casting uh, finally <laughs> games again. They let us out. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can finally stretch yeah. a little bit of... So uh, nice and warm and orange in here. I'm really enjoying uh, the new vibe, the new fall vibe. Yeah, the new the new color palettes. Where where um, are our Snake Pit Live sweaters? Right, Ooh. we're just still wearing a t-shirt. I need like a cozy yeah. like Snake Pit like well, like one of those with the snake. little snakes on it. <laughs> SPL, something, S- with el- S- something with elbow patches, you know. Yes. yes. The vibe. yes. A, a cardigan yes. with elbow patches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. All right, guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get. To- yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, those are coming soon, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Now that we've brought it up, it's, it has to happen. But, but uh, so, w- w- what are we doing here today, guys? Why, why are, why are we here? What's happening? Um, well, what's this? What's this? Wait, what's this fall league all about? Uh, fall this, league. Yeah, hmm. where is it? Uh, I mean, nope. great questions, and I think we would all like to find out some answers, but they don't actually tell us anything. We've been stuck in the cave for the last month and however long it's been and uh we just got chucked out here apparently brad's showing up sometime soon to, to let us know but apparently there's some some big things happening uh some big changes coming to Battlesnake, the platform the new league format um i know i know you're making it seem like we're in the dark but we really are in the dark we actually have no idea <laughs> Uh, Brad, is is Brad? Even, is he here yet? Is that? Brad? Does he live in a cave too? He probably doesn't. He's coming down from his like mansion. Does, He's like walking down the hill towards us. <laughs> he hey. keeps us in the basement of his house. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just, I was just in the basement the whole time. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, how's it? How's it going? Hey. Oh, good. good. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Good. It's been a while. It's been a good, I don't know, like a month and a half. It's been a, yeah. it's been a bit. I've been nice googling break. edible socks since uh, since we last chatted. You got a craving? Is that now? is that weird? Like... Is that weird behavior for you, or is that just normal? It's definitely weird. Friday yes. night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave it there. It's something to fill the time, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you got to do something in the cave. Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, one computer that we all share, and we just Google I edible just socks Google all edible day. Socks. Well, the firewall, it only has access to edible sock size. It's what right, I'm hearing also. is that the cave's working out pretty good and we don't need to worry about it too much. Yeah, it's you not, got, it's you not guys are good. <laughs> could be worse. It has its ups and yeah. downs, you know? It yeah. really has its pros and cons. Um, all right. <laughs> should, we, should we talk about Fall League? <laughs> yeah, I, I would just segue seamlessly into the Fall League. Yeah, tonight. seamlessly yeah. into. We, we set you up perfectly there, Brad. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. I always, I always enjoy hanging out with you three. Hmm. Um, more often then. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, love totally, you too, Brad. <laughs> totally. uh, all right, let's let's flip over to my screen here, and we can let's talk let's talk fall league. Let's talk um, a whole bunch of changes that's coming down. Um, let's get this uh, get this going full screen. Cool. Um, so there's a lot of news today. Uh, we'll we'll show some games. Uh, but today's mostly about uh, setting up what's coming in the next um, two months or so uh, with the uh, fa- uh, upcoming Fall League with the Battlesnake Winter Classic Tournament. I'm sure the three of you remember the Winter Classic last year. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think that was like the first big Twitch thing that we did ever. Like, was that, was that like our first like Twitch tournament was last year's Winter Classic? Yeah, it was the so. first like all Twitch event yeah. that we did. I believe so. the, sp- the spawn of the pay-to-win skins as well. Right, right, right. Yes, that, yes, was, yes. that was when, true. yeah, when that whole nonsense started. The bottom um, and the snake. Is there anyone in, I wonder if there's anyone in chat that was here for Winter Classic last year. Like, that's crazy if you've been sticking with us for a year. I don't know anyone to watch us for a year. Like, yeah. Nessagrub, MD Hex Drive, they, 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 yeah, they, yeah. they must Hex have been gone. gone. Yeah, yeah. Extagon yeah. showed up with the pay to win. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about Fall League. We're going to be talking about Winter Classic. But first of all, before we get into all the details, we have a, a pretty packed show um, with information. But before we get into all the details, 
Um, Fall League 2020 is uh, sponsored um, by some really awesome companies and a, a new partner for us in RBC. Uh, if you're in Canada, you're definitely, or if you're in Canada, you're definitely familiar with the RBC brand. They're a really great tech company, a really um, one of the larger banks in Canada. Uh, they saw what we were doing with Summer League. They really, really, really liked it. Um, and so they've come on board and they said, you know, whatever you're doing next, we want to be a part of. And so huge thank you to RBC, um, as well as GitHub and Replit, who continue to sponsor and make Ballastnake possible. Um, we're working with our partners on some really awesome stuff next year as well. And so we're going to continue to work with these partners going forward um, and potentially bring on some, some new partners as well. So just big thanks, RBC, GitHub, Replit for making this possible. Everything you're going to see from Battlesnake over the next uh, two months or so uh, is, is made possible by them. Their logo looks really good up there. Yeah, like it's really crisp, right? Mm -hmm. Like it fits, it slots in. It's, yeah. It's doing the Tetris thing very well. That's important. We, we think about that when we choose our partners, right? Exactly. Yeah, how satisfyingly will this fit? <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So tonight's stream, we're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about the Balancing Fall League. We're going to talk about the Winter Classic Tournament. We're going to give away a couple prizes. Aileen's got some stuff up her sleeves um, that we're going to give away. Uh, we're going to talk about a new arena mode that's been in testing for about a month or so that we're going to um, release today. And oh, awesome. Nesagrev just uh, gifted a bunch of subs. That's awesome. Thanks, Nesagrev. Thanks. Thank As Thank always. As Thank always. you, Nesagrev. Um, and then we're also going to talk about a little bit of um, API and platform updates, just small changes. We want to get in the habit of, um, we really like doing Snake Pit Lives. We think it's a really fun show. And so we want to get in the habit of using it to also talk about changes that are upcoming to the platform and the game and the API and that sort of thing. So we're just going to start doing that now. Um, but before or not before let's get started with the exciting stuff so um battlesnake fall league starts today what is battlesnake fall league it is a global battlesnake competition um we run a whole bunch of competitions all year round some of them are local to different companies some of them are local to different um, regions and cities and schools um summer league was was our first sort of big giant global one and battlesnake fall league is going to be very similar so anyone anywhere can can participate in fall league and it starts today on october 23rd and it goes through until december 5th so it's going to be about i'm thinking i'm trying to do the math in my head Six, six 12 6 12 5 10 6 Seven and a half. No, he's just throwing numbers at you. Oh, I know. Don't listen to him. Six. I don't know why you guys keep keep Chris on the team. Uh, <laughs> six. <laughs> I think it's six. I think we're gonna go with six. Um, so about six weeks long. The fall league itself is gonna be a series of uh, three unique challenge arenas. We did this. We did a flavor of this with the summer league, and we thought it worked out really well. We're gonna introduce some new uh, arena modes and some interesting stuff. Um, and uh, each uh, challenge arena is going to be active for two weeks of the uh, of the fall league. So it's going to be a little bit tighter packed. Um, you're going to get two weeks to try out the new challenge arena, try out the new um, modes and, and see what you think. And then at the end of every two week uh, challenge arena, we'll, we'll end the, the um, we'll end the challenge arena with a snake pit live. So we'll be back here live on, on Twitch every, uh, every other week. And we'll run a little mini tournament. We'll give out prizes based on which developers have conquered the uh, the challenge arenas uh, the best. So um, that'll make a little more sense once I tell you what the challenge arena is. But that's sort of the format for the Fall League. Uh, there's a couple other interesting things. We have Fall League. We have brand new Fall League prize packs. We, we really liked the Summer League prize pack. I think I think Aileen keeps telling me that the feedback on the Summer League prize packs was really good. Um, People so love we, those mugs, you know, and those the coolest t-shirts that I think we've ever had. I loved that little tent. It's crazy. You get, I mean, Eileen's a little biased because she loves giving out prizes, so she'll... Uh, I'm extremely yeah. biased. This is a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get shirts? I didn't get a shirt. I didn't get a shirt. No, I've no. seen them in person, though. I know people who have had the shirts. And only I've winners looked, get shirts. looked upon <laughs> them. Only winners get shirts, Brad. Come on. <laughs> Enter, enter some Twitch, some Twitch chat contests. I should have um, been entering them. I, I didn't though. I don't know. Yeah, I thinking, right? Yeah, I didn't gosh, even think of that. Dang. To, it's right there. It's so easy. Uh, with Fall League prize packs. So they're going to be back, um, but they're a little bit different. We're going to do some, some interesting things. I believe someone's talking about some face masks and some ballast snakes, sort of some interesting things that we're going to throw in there. 
Um, they're going to be very similar to Summer League. They're going to be handed out through a viewer contest and Twitch prize draws, caster choice winners, um, all the, the usual sorts of things. What's new for Fall League, and we, we heard your feedback from Summer League, Fall League, we're introducing a new tier of prize pack called the Champion Prize Pack. And the champion prize pack is going to be very specifically for the challenge arena and mini tournament winners. So these are going to be for the people that defeat all the others in the challenge arenas and come out on top through the, through the mini tournaments. Um, and these are going to be, they're about three times uh, the prize value, I guess is the word. Um, but three times the prize value is the standard sort of fall league prize pack. So we're, we're jamming in some really interesting stuff um, into those. I don't know, Aileen, if you want to, uh if you have an idea what's going into those because i don't i don't know i mean i do know i can tell you that the the prize packs like seem across the board to be way cooler stuff <laughs> like it was yeah. oh, like hang on to your seats y'all because there's some really good stuff in there i know we've got yeah masks uh water bottles like really useful stuff that you can actually like use in your life uh i'm excited like, like a gaming mat i've heard any, a gaming mat any edible socks in there I mean, uh, we should I mean, we should probably we should, just get into this. We business. should probably just figure that one out, right? Yeah, we should definitely figure that out. Because then I'll definitely enter the prize bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Who knew that Chris would get a taste for yeah. edible socks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the things that have so happened. the prizes are going to be great. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pro probably not edible. Uh, I don't recommend eating any other prize bags. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of prizes as always, and we'll give out some prizes tonight as well. Um, this is a fun one. Um, uh, I'm just reading chat. Someone says challenges. Someone says, what about the prizes for us losers? There's prizes for everyone, just really big prizes for the people that win. But there's always, always stickers and prizes and notebooks and face masks for, for everyone. And we'll continue to give out a lot of those. Um, but this is going to be really fun. So uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've released new Ballasnake Heads and Tails and so we really, really, really wanted to do some uh, for Fall League. And so we've got some good ones set up. Uh, so Fall League is going to be um, new Ballastnake Heads and Tails. And where this gets really interesting is the Fall League Heads and Tails are going to be exclusive to Fall League participants. So if you participate in the Fall League challenges, you will earn access to... Uh, you will earn access to the uh, exclusive Fall League new heads and tails. And we'll, we'll release them uh, one, one per show as we are, we'll release them on each show as we kind of talk about the, the different challenge arenas that are gonna become available. Stoked. Yeah, I'm excited these, about this one. These are, so these are exclusive heads and tails exclusive. that are only being offered for Fall League, never again in the future. And you only if you earn it. Yeah. These Battlestick accounts are going to be worth like seven figures 10 years from now. Yeah. Because they You're got fall, fall League 2020 heads. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Um, but we love, we love releasing new heads and tails. And so we want to, we want to give people an opportunity to like get some unique ones, get some interesting ones. Um, and we haven't done it in a while. So we're excited to do this. Um, here's the Fall League schedule. So this is, this is how things are going to break down. Um, Challenge Arena number one starts today and runs until November 7th. I'm seeing a bunch of people. Uh, heads and tails are great. Chipwreck is so stoked. Yeah, chat, chat, chat's on board with the heads and tails. Awesome. Nice. I'm, I'm excited about that one. Um, yeah, so Challenge Arena number one, October 23rd to November 7th. There will be a Snake Pit Live episode. That'll be the next Snake Pit Live episode after this one. Uh, on November 7th, where we will announce the winners of the Challenge Arena number one. We'll do a little mini turn tournament to give away a champion prize pack. And then we'll also announce uh, Challenge Arena number two in the same show. Uh, Challenge Arena number two is number 7th to November 20th, again with a Snake Pit Live on November 20th. And then Challenge Arena number three is the 20th all the way through to December 5th with a Snake Pit Live on December 5th. So I know that's a lot. Here's what you need to know participate in the Challenge Arenas, watch Snake Pit Live to win your prizes. That, that'll that'll kind of get you through this. Um, if you want all of the gory details, you can go to play.battlesnake.com. The Fall League Winter Classic competition is listed now. It should be live now. Um, and the full uh, broadcast schedule is there as well. So uh, yeah, Whitish, Whitish Meter says, these are some quick challenges. Yeah, they're, they're, they're quick ones. Um, just unique little ideas we had to throw out there. So we'll we'll try this format and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um. 
Yeah, but Snake Pit Live every two weeks for the next uh, for the next six weeks. We're back. You're back, back baby. <laughs> I think a couple of those are on Saturday and one of them I think is on a Friday because of the because of a scheduling thing. So we'll get we'll get Joe involved as well, obviously, and Joe will be around for some of these. Nice. Um, but the yeah. European angle. Yeah. We'll get we'll get the, the European uh, commentary. It, it, right. it's, it's it's a global tournament after all, you know. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Um let's talk about challenge arena number one. So this is the first one that goes live today. You can register for it today, you can start playing games. Um we're calling it Battlesnake Duels, and it is two Battlesnakes on a small seven by seven board. Standard rule set, 1v1, nowhere to hide. How do you do head to head against some of the top players in, in the Battlesnake community? Uh, everyone in one arena, and the, the um, arena is active now. And the, uh, anyone who participates in the Battlesnake Duel arena, uh, and I think you have to play uh, 100 games, which is like super easy. Uh, you'll get access to the brand new jack-o'-lantern battlesnake head, which is kind of on the bottom of the screen here. That is extremely rad. It's Ooh, so it aggro. It is. It's so it's mean. A little, it's, it's a little terrifying. spooky. Yo. I'm a little, I'm a little scared. <laughs> That's some definite uh, pay-to-win skin action yeah. right there. I would be <laughs> maximum spooky. Straight up intimidated. Uh, okay, definitely some yeah, some swag if you get that skin. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see who comes out swinging the with the jack o' lantern head, come uh, two weeks from now. Yeah, right see. away. Yeah. Just right away. I, I bet you some people already have it. I bet you. I bet you some people just already figured it out. Um, but yeah, well, people drop off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the servers just go down because everyone's everyone's yeah. running over there. Um, yeah. So this is live now. Um, we wanted, we've been wanting to do a 1v1 arena for a long time just because we think it's a really interesting game mode and it's sort of like, it really lets you hone your strategy, um, especially those of you developers, and I know there's some of you out there that, are, that have built algorithms and strategies specifically to uh, defeat specific other snakes. Like I know there are some people with anti prus strategies. Um, there are some people out there um, that have actually named other opponents in their in their code and, and built strategies around them. Which so, we encourage. Which we a hundred percent encourage, right? Like and use the shouts to like taunt them and call them out and everything. Like go nuts. Um and so the 1v1 is specifically for this. Um we're really excited about this and so we'll we'll see where it goes. Uh we'll run it for two weeks. In two weeks we'll be back here on Snake Pit Live and we'll uh we'll do um a mini tournament then and see who's the winner. So let's do I don't, I don't. I don't have to demo a one v one game. I think everyone kind of understands what that looks like. But I'll show you. If you go to uh, battlesnake.com, the fall league uh, event page should be here. You can also click on competitions, uh, and you'll get the full list of competitions. Here's um, all the information. Here's the full information about the fall leagues and the challenge arenas and the, and the unlockables. Here's the, the jack-o'-lantern head that you can unlock now. Um, and then you can see some people have already started to enter the Battlesnake Duels arena, which is listed here. Um, we can look at this, actually. Yeah, there's already nine, nine snakes have already entered this, uh, which is awesome. We'll throw, a couple, we'll throw a couple cheers out here. You had Unicorn eight minutes ago. Nice. Unicorn eight minutes ago. They've already played nice. two games. Should, do you want to look at one of these games? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should let Curtis do this. I don't know how to cast. <laughs> how do I? How do I? Uh, yeah. Um, what is there a two? Like, which one? There's a there's a hundred turn game. There you go. There we go. How about this? I will do Nessa Grev and Tofu. Nice. Yes. Yeah. 137 turns. Yeah. All right. Yes. This is going to be fast, but I, I don't have it set. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Very uh, bland color on tofu. It's the color of tofu. Oof. See what they're doing. Nest, nest Ooh. Ooh, tofu. Ooh. So, so fast. <laughs> just filled, the whole board just filled up with a tail chase there. <laughs> I think they like ate food right at the end and. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Tofu Solid, making uh, plays. Yeah, Tofu just had the, like, I don't know what Nessagram would have done there. So, I guess it could have yeah. continued to chase its tail, but yeah. 
I get the feeling this is going to be a lot of like board controlling, looping, trying to time in if you're the bigger snake situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, once it gets it's... past the first first couple turns. Here we got yeah. Polar Unicorn and Tofu. Yeah. Tofu is surprisingly aggressive for. Yeah. Tofu for did pretty well in the last tournament, if I remember correctly. That's right. Yeah. They do really well at board control. So I think this is going to be a really interesting. Uh, they're going to be interesting to watch with this mm -hmm. game. Mode. But, but not with Soybean in the. Oh, yeah. The double arena. Tofu and Soybean. That was the doubles. Yeah. That was the, the 2v2. 2v2, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. Black hole. Tofu's scary. Mm hmm. Black hole. Yeah. Tofu's Ooh, the one wow. to watch right now. Tofu's the one. If you're going to build an anti snake strategy, looks like tofu. Look at what tofu's doing. Yeah. Um, Just call it couple... like Wagyu or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Chris. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So there's uh, there's a bunch of new things in the arena. I'll I'll get to that in a second. I'll walk everyone through it. But that's the that's the fall league. That's the battle snake dual mode. Um, we're really excited about it. Uh, it should be uh, a ton of fun. And so you, everyone can join now and start participating. And we'll see how that plays out um, in in two weeks time. So let's dive back in here. The other thing we're here to talk about is the uh, winter classic. So. Um, Fall League consists of these sort of like two week short um, challenge arenas and a whole bunch of prizes and swag attached to that. But the Winter Classic is the big tournament, right? This is the, this is the second annual Winter Classic. We, we were talking about it at the top of the show. Um, we ran it for the first time last year. We had a lot of fun. Um, we love doing big tournaments. We love doing uh, big, you know, big tournament broadcasts. That's where all the, all the drama happens. And so we're bringing it back this year with the Battle Snake Winter Classic, again, um, presented by RBC, GitHub, and Replit. So they're sponsoring everything we're doing through the winter, for through the Fall League and the Winter Classic Tournament. Uh, what is Battle Snake Winter Classic? It's our annual December tournament. The Winter Classic Tournament is going to be uh, live on Twitch December 19th. So it's going to be two weeks after the final Fall League Challenge closes. I believe that's a Saturday. It has to be a Saturday because th those are long. Those are long ones. Um, but that'll be the day uh, for the big tournament, and the big prizes will then be attached. To that we'll announce what the prizes are closer to the date. Um, but that's going to be the the big sort of uh, annual tournament to cap off the year. Uh, there's going to be th only three divisions for this one. Um, we're going to run standard, rookie, veteran, and elite. Those are all divisions that we've seen before. Everyone's familiar with them. Um, rookie, if you're a new Battlesnake developer, if you're just trying out new strategies, if you haven't seen Battlesnake before and you just want to see what it is, what it's like, Rookie is a really great place for you. If you know what you're doing, you have a competitive snake and you want a bit of a challenge, check out the veteran. Um, and then if you have won competitions before, if you're, you know, if you're Battlesnake developer elite and you know who you are, um, definitely check out the the elite division that's where the the top tier games and the top tier competition is going to be um there's a new setup for the winter for the winter classic uh tournament so what we've learned um and what we learned last winter classic what we've learned in sort of tournaments over the over the past year uh there's a lot of interest in tournaments and it's we want to we want to do a better job of making sure that um, a that tournaments don't take forever to cast like if we have a hundred snakes in one tournament we can't do it um, and so uh, we're trying a new format for the winter classic this year where we're going to have qualifying arenas that run up to the actual tournament date so starting today uh, all of the qualifier arenas for the three winter classic divisions are live and they're going to run through to december 18th and so if you want to participate in the tournament on the 19th you're going to want to get involved in the qualifier arenas starting now. Um, and we'll talk, we'll talk a bit about how that works. So the uh, winter classic qualifying arena, qualifier arenas, there's a dedicated arena for each division. So there's going to be one for rookie, one for veteran, one for elite. The qualifying arenas are going to reset every two weeks during snake pit live. And at that point when we, but just before we hit the reset button on them, we're going to take the top battle snakes out of each uh, arena and we're going to set them aside and qualify them for the tournament. So every two weeks, we're going to take the best snakes, the best rated snakes uh, out of the qualifier arena and then qualify them for the tournament happening, happening on the 19th. 
This means that everyone has four chances to qualify. And once you've qualified, you don't need to enter the qualifier arena again. So once you're qualified, you're set, you're good to go. You can come back on the 19th and, and participate in the tournament. And so our hope here is by, you know, kind of taking like taking the top snakes and qualifying them um, and moving them on, then give everyone else a chance to get in and qualify as well. Uh, and so every two weeks, we're going to be moving a, a new group of battle snakes into the uh, into the Winter Classic tournament, and we'll we'll have a whole bracket view for that as as we lead up to it. What do you guys think of this? That's yeah, awesome. This, this blows my mind Dope. a little. I think that I really like the the way that it mirrors the way I think about battle snake. Like we're going to take the we're going to take the top tier boombas Boomba. away so the rest we can kind of see the rest of the people which is going to be really cool because i think that I have a tendency to only talk about these like high level people and then I, we don't get down into the the lower levels but like yeah give everybody a chance to fight their way into yeah. into qualifying it's very cool that's exactly it, right it's like let's yeah. give let's give people that aren't prus a chance to you know hit number one right <laughs> The chat was talking about uh, Prus and how I want to go oh, to Elite, really? but why did Meteor? I want to go to Elite, but I want to avoid Prus. <laughs> Prus is, is still not won a major, just throwing it out yep. there. Yeah, Prus so is maybe... a, major, a major tournament yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's uh, scary. Like, like Prus is scary, but uh, defeatable. Yes. Everybody's got a chance. I think between Tofu and Goo and some of the other new competitors, I think, I think there's scarier snakes out there. Yeah, oh, that's, that's fighting words. <laughs> Alter Saddle says, "I think a league into a tournament makes a lot of sense." Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we're trying to, we're trying to, we're trying to work it together, and and um, yeah, we're trying to build something a little bit bigger here and, and get more people involved. So it should be good. And I'm mostly just stoked to be able to cast a major again because I feel like it, feel like it's been a while, right? Like, yeah. The, like the, the last one, totally like, like uh, summer league we had some new tournaments attack. but like i mean yeah the stakes need to be yeah should we should we do the, like should we run this like pga like there's like four majors oh, a year? absolutely yeah. Yeah. You gotta, get the, like, gotta get the grand get slam and then you get like, a jacket, oh, the yeah. jacket. Yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. yeah and if you win all four then you're just not allowed back anymore <laughs> <laughs> uh the winner from last year gets to put the jacket on the on the on the, the new person winner, the new yeah. winner. Yeah. We'll fly them out. We'll fly them out to the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's talk about the winter classic schedule. Um, so qualify around. You'll notice these dates match the same um the same challenge arena dates as the fall league. Uh so qualifier around one, October twenty-third, November seventh. Again, Snake Pit Live on the seventh is when we'll announce who qualifies from round one, um, round two, the seventh to the twentieth, round three, the twentieth to the fifth. And then round four is the fifth to the 18th. So that one's a little bit different because we're going to announce the qualifiers on the Friday, on December 18th. That won't be a Snake Pit Live. That'll be a pre-show uh, for the Winter Classic Tournament. So you'll likely have me and not necessarily the casters because they'll be resting up for the tournament the next day. Um, in the cave. In the cave, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We'll throw some extra blankets in there. Um, all of this is available online, so you don't need to like memorize it right now. Uh, but you, this is this is how the fall league and the winter league is going to go. Is you, we're going to have two weeks where there's going to be winter league or winter classic qualifiers, fall league challenges, and then a snake pit live where we'll hand out a bunch of prizes and do the winners. We'll reset the qualifier rounds. We'll announce the new challenge arena, um, and we'll do that um, three times on another fourth round for the the winter classic. So it's all there on the schedule. Um, if you watch, if you participate in the event page, if you watch us on Twitch, um, you'll catch it all as as we go. Um, and everything, all the interesting announcements, uh, all the news will be will be uh, on Snake Pit Live uh, every two weeks. We'll try to use that as sort of a, a focal point for for communicating with everyone. So that's the Fall League 2020 and the Winter Classic 2020 plan. Uh, again, presented by GitHub and Replit. Thank you so much to those to those companies for coming in and helping us out. Um, let's do a quick prize break. Yeah, you want to do a prize break? Uh, you've joined us today, everyone, here in Twitch. And that you know what that means? That means that you can enter to win a prize. Uh, and these are brand new prizes. These are going to be really cool things like, uh, I think we've got face mask, like notebook, all kinds of like, obviously, we're going to have a new shirt and everything. So you got to get in, you know, you got to add to your exist, add to your 15 Battlesnakes shirts. Yeah. <laughs> 
I had, an, I had number I, I, I'm, 16. I'm the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got a closet full of Battlesnake shirts. Um, but these, these people will be the first to have this, right? That's true. Yep. They're going to be the first people to have this brand new fall league prize pack, which is very exciting. And new stickers and everything, like all the stuff that you've come to love about Battlesnake, you will get, but it'll be fall. Um, and so our key word for today is, uh, is very well themed with Halloween and uh, all the spooky spookiness that we're trying to bring about. And it's ghost. Classic. Ghost. Classic. It's got that silent H in there, so watch out for that. So yeah, type ghost into the Twitch chat, everybody. Just 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 in case you weren't aware there was a yeah. silent H. <laughs> silent H. I'm trying to help we, you out. Are we allowed to win? I've never been on this side of this before. I'm I'm entering. You're right. entering. Let's, let's do it. I'm, I'm getting in there. Let's, let's all we'll all enter and we'll see what happens and, and our production crew will just figure it out. Yeah. I love it. I'm doing it. What does yeah. it mean if Aileen wins? I get the stuff, right? Alien, she's aliens, prize queen. Yeah, she's not allowed to win. That would be what? That would be rigged. That would be cheating. It's yeah. random. <laughs> sure it is. I'm taking sure it. it. I'm taking alien. it. I don't care if it's immoral. Okay. Amen. <laughs> Corruption in the battle snake. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we never said we were it never said it was fair. It's just a it's a random prize. Anyone can enter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here to help, Extagon. Don't type ghost. Type yeah. ghost. <laughs> I hope you helped somebody today. Goats. <laughs> I like goats. Yeah, no, that's not the one. <laughs> nice try. Close, real close. Um, all right, are we gonna do that draw now or we're gonna do that, that one later? Uh, I think we usually give it we give it a little minute. We'll do it at the end. Just yeah, yeah okay. do it after. Yeah. Um all right, so let's dive in. Let's talk some news and some updates, and then we'll we'll get we'll get we'll get to the prize draw really quick um we'll flip back over to my screen uh let's do this let me get all this nonsense out of the way all right um let's talk really quickly about uh battle snake news and updates so um if you're following along uh we've ta already talked about some of these things in um slack and discord um but we just want to make make sure that everyone's aware of them um so here's some of the things the changes we've made in sort of the last two months since summer leagues ended um, while we were getting ready for, for fall league. So um, the first big one is that we're officially have a schedule now for deprecating API V zero. Um, I know this is uh, what's great the news. controversial, great Fantastic news. news. Fantastic <laughs> no more, news. No more gray charts. That's yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. We want to turn the V zero oh, servers nice. off because they're silly. Um, so uh, official support for V0 is gonna end on December 31st. At that point, we will no longer support the V0 API um, and any games that are using it or any, any battle snakes that rely on it uh, will no longer function uh, in, the, in the games. That sounds more dramatic than it is. The upgrade path to get from V0 to V1 is actually like very quick. So don't worry about it. Um, global arena support, global arena is still alive and a lot of people are still joining it um, weekly. Um, we watch it very closely and just make sure that everything's okay. Global Arena support for the uh, for V zero snakes is going to end on November thirtieth. Um, here's the here's the big one: um, Fall League and Winter Classic games will require your Battle Snake to be API V one. So everything going forward with the official with the majors um, is going to have to be a V one snake. Uh, I believe if you try to play um, games in either of the Fall League arenas or the Winter Classic qualifier arenas. Uh, the, the V0 snakes will not, uh, you won't be able to enter them. Everything is available at, if you go to docs.bowsnake.com, there's a whole, uh, yeah, someone linked it or uh, production linked it in chat. Um, there's a whole document on exactly what the differences are. It's actually really easy. Um, there's two major differences. One is that there's a different way that you specify your head and your color and your tail. Um, you're doing it through a get request at the root instead of doing it on the start command. Um, and the second one is up is down and down is up. We've inverted the y-axis between V0 and V1, um, which is like, those are pretty quick changes to make depending on what your code's like. Um, but yeah, get the, get those done, get those done quickly um, and you'll be able to participate in the new stuff. So awesome. I see Exist says, looks like I'm doing some BS coding. I'm gonna assume BS stands for Battlesnake coding <laughs> this weekend, right? Of course. Good assumption, right? Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, 
The next sort of quick announcement we wanted to uh, to want to make uh, the we're trying a brand new arena mode. Um, so some of you who have already started playing games in the fall league challenge and the winter classic qualifier will notice uh, a couple things about the new arenas. So the new arenas no longer play games automatically. The old, the old arenas used to every 10 minutes, they would just do a bunch of matchmaking and fire off a bunch of games um, and then do a bunch of score calculations and then uh, roll out the, the new, the new ratings. Um, we wanted to change that for a, a bunch of different reasons. And I'm happy to talk about that if, any, if anyone has questions. Um, but um, what happens now is when you enter an arena, you now have the option to play ranked or practice games. Uh, we've rewritten and, and re-architected the matchmaking system. So it should be a little bit more uh, accurate uh, with respect to rating and not necessarily ranking, if that, if that makes sense. It's not where you're placed on it, but it's what your rating actually is. Um, so when you hit ranked or practice, uh, the matchmaking system will build a game for you based on, uh, on other snakes that are in the arena that it thinks will make a competitive game. Um, and then that game will be run. If you play a ranked game, then your battle snake will lose or gain rating based on the outcome of that game. Um, if you play a practice game, then you will not lose. Like that's just you won't uh, that won't impact your rating. That's just if you want to see kind of what the what the competition is like at your current rating. Um, so practice will let you. There's a limit on how many practice games you can run. Uh, there's a limit on how many ranked games can be live in the system at any given time. Um, so uh, we've thought about all that stuff and we'll be monitoring it closely over the next two weeks or so uh, to iron out any bugs with the matchmaking system. Uh, Nessa Grove says that I'm no longer in second place. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. Just surprised. FYI, Bella. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that, Nessa Grove. Thanks. Um, the, the thing I want to mention here, uh, so you will only lose or gain your rating will only change for games that you initiate for games that you play when you play a ranked game or play a practice game. Um, but your battle snake will still participate in other games that other, that other developers are playing. So you still might see that traffic. So still treat it like, like the automatic arenas um, where uh, think about concurrency, think about other, other um, snakes that are playing and other games that are going on and think about how and when you want to deploy. Um yeah, I think I think that's all I want to mention there. Uh, the games initiated by other players will not affect your rating; just the ones that just the ones that you start. So, um, Fall League and Winter Classic arenas will operate under this new arena mode. This is experimental. We're testing this. We're testing this for the Fall League and the Winter Classic. It's likely we're going to make some adjustments coming out of it. So, um, if you have feedback, let us know. Uh, if you like it, let us know. If you don't like it, let us know what you don't like about it. Um, and we'll, we'll continue to adjust. Uh, we like to be really flexible and we like to be really um, iterative as we, as we build these things out. And so we wanna try new things and, 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 and test out new ideas. Um, Why just says already stole second from Nessa Grab. Awesome. Yeah, take Apparently that. Apparently they're black hole. That's, that was whitish meteor. Oh, whitish meteor is black hole. That makes sense. Oh. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so play and and you kind of get you kind of like even like whitish meteor saying that in chat that's awesome thanks so much for for saying that that's what we're hoping the new arena mode will sort of um it'll be much more interesting when you overtake people in the in the arena as opposed to just waking up and seeing where you where you rated overnight um it should be a lot more uh interesting as you sort of knock knock other people out uh so let us know what you think Get that instant feedback endorphin rush yeah that, that yeah. we all crave um and that also i it was a little bit confusing earlier i know when i said like in order to unlock the head or the the new jack-o-lantern head um this is what we mean by if you complete 100 games so if you play 100 ranked games um then you'll that's what you'll need to do in order to unlock the head and and the math works out that like 100 100 ranked games kind of puts you in the right place rating wise uh, so that's why we're trying to make sure that everyone sort of plays a reasonable number of games to 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 make sure that the arena is competitive. Um, competitions no longer require a team, so this is a big naming change. It affects it affects you casters. Um, in official major competitions and in arenas, uh, the team name is no longer going to be used. So it's only going to be the snake name and the developer name that's going to be shown everywhere. 
it was creating a lot of conflict between like Swedish Vikings versus Nagini versus Prus is the one example I go to all the time where it's sort of like the same person, but we knew them all by three different names or whitish meteor and black hole and, and, and this sort of stuff. Um, so your snake name is going to be the one that's displayed everywhere, uh, especially during the tournament and during the tournament games. Uh, teams can still exist and teams can own a snake, but it's going to be the snake's name that, that gets displayed. Uh, and the other thing is game history and tournament results. Tournament results used to be tied to your team. They're now tied to your account if you enter as, a, as an individual. So you can enter competitions and tournaments as an individual. Um, and those uh, achievements will be attached to your individual profile as well. So that's just a, like a minor sort of quality, quality of life thing. Um, and the last one I want to mention is the Palisnake Developer Survey. So this is live now. Uh, there's a link on the homepage. Uh, I believe it ends in one week on October 31st. We've already seen a ton of response to this and we're super, super happy with it. We just wanted to throw it out there one last time. If you haven't filled it out yet, please do. Let us know what you love. Let us know what you hate. That's the only way we can make this better. Um, let us know uh, if, you're, if you have any hookups for edible socks. Um, and let us know also what you want to see next year. So we're thinking about, we're really excited about the Fall League. We're really excited about the Winter Classic, but we're also thinking about what next year looks like. Um, and so you have, if you have big ideas, now's a really good time to let us know. Um, and the developer survey is a really great way to do that. Uh, I'm also available on Slack all the time. Uh, so is Chris, uh, who's uh, not Chris on, not Caster Chris, but Chris Production Chris is also available on Slack all the time. Um, both of us are there to answer questions and take suggestions. So if you have feedback, you can, you can get us there uh, as well as um, on Discord. Uh, I think that's all I had. Yeah, that's it. That was, that's all I got. It's a lot, though. It's so much new things. Very, a lot, a very lot of new stuff. A lot of new stuff. Wait, that's not it. We still have to give away a prize. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Dang. Prizes, oh, y'all. <laughs> Everybody, uh, let's do let's do a countdown for a prize in the Twitch chat. So if you have, if you're just joining us or you you missed out on the original when I mentioned it, if you type "ghost" into the chat, um, into the Twitch chat now, you will be entered to win uh, the brand new Fall League prize pack, which includes many many exciting things like a face mask or a logo t-shirt, uh, things like that. And so, be sure to remember your silent H in your ghost entry, very important. It's uh, ghost. ghost. Not to be forgotten. Um, <laughs> ghost. Ghost, if we wanted to actually say the H. I don't know, I don't mind it, ghost. I'm not seeing anyone type ghost or ghost into the chat. So I, I, I think, think everyone's safe. everyone's in. Everyone's yeah, on the ball. Yeah, we're all in. Let's uh, do there it. Were a lot of, there were a lot of ghosts earlier. Yeah. There was a lot. Yeah. So I think we should do a countdown. Uh, Brad, do you want to join us in a countdown? We're Whoa. pretty bad at them, but maybe you're the missing link. <laughs> I feel you know? like you just you just made it exponentially more difficult by adding a fourth person. Let's, let's no, no, do no, it. No, 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 no. Really yeah. good. This yeah. is what we've been missing this whole time. We're going to go from five. Ready? Five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Prize. <laughs> I don't know. We never figured out what to say at the end there. Hey, hey. Len Payne. Hey, Len Payne. Len Payne. Hey. What do you mean, We know what we say at the end of prize. It's a prize. 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 <laughs> prize? Oh, it's inflection. <laughs> it's the, Congratulations. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Awesome. Len Payne, congratulations. Oops. Len Payne, yeah, Len, Len Payne definitely, you definitely, I believe you definitely got a, uh, a summer league pack as well. So that's, it's great that you won the first fall league too. Nice. Um, yeah, I also, before before we sign off, I want to, um, two quick things. There's a, a handful of developers that have been helping um, Chris and I test uh, the new arena mode over the last like three or three weeks or so. Um, I just want to give a, a quick shout out to all of them who've given us a ton of feedback and, and, and made us better. It's already changed a bunch. Um, and so just thank you so much, uh, those developers that, that let us use their snakes for early, early beta testing and testing new features. Um, the other thing I want to mention, uh, Nesagrev called it out. Nesagrev's looking for more streams. So um, I didn't put this in the schedule because we don't have a hard schedule for it yet, but we will. Um, Joe 
uh, Joe, who is one of the casters who, who's not here today, but um, you'll, you'll recognize Joe from some of the other Snake Pit Lives. Uh, Joe has challenged me to join him on stream uh, throughout the entire fall league. And he's challenged me to code live against him in some of these challenge arenas. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen. It's probably going to happen during the weekday, um, likely Tuesdays and Thursdays, maybe starting next week, but we will be live on Twitch with sort of non snake pit live content as well. Um, yeah. Live Live coding. Similar live, to live coding, yes. Yeah, what, sim- what, similar to live coding. Yeah. What, what's the name of the show? Are we, are we saying that yet? Because I... You, uh, you, no? I don't want to... Joe came up with this in, with the name. <laughs> like, do, are we spoiling it? Or is that like... Are you... I'm not saying it. Planning to it's it's, it's called... It's, so it's going to be called uh, Brad and Joe Code Badly. <laughs> is, this, is this a new segment? <laughs> Which uh, I love, amazing. so I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the idea is we're going to lean into the end of the duel uh, a little bit. And um, I think we're going to live code side. Joe's got, Joe's got a whole setup. Um, we're going to live code side by side and see like, you know, in 90 minutes who can win between us. Uh, yeah. And yeah. And Alter Saddle says, yeah, it's actually just called Joe wins. That, yeah. that's, that's exactly it. Um, but the, the reason, the reason I call this out is, uh, we're going to start with just Joe and I, but we're also going to bring on other other people. So if you are at all interested, uh, talking to the casters, but also everyone in Twitch chat, if you're at all interested in joining us on stream and doing some live coding and talking about your snake and how it's how it's doing in the arenas, reach out to me, reach out to Joe, um, and we'll see what we can do to get you on one of the streams because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, snake Pit Lives are, are really good, but as Nesta Grev always points out, um, we're hoping to put some more content on Twitch uh, in between sort of the the big, large Snake Pit live shows. And so this this should help out a bit. I, I want to watch a segment where you get one hand a piece or you have to like <laughs> l- learn a new language and write a snake in that language in like a oh my gosh. 60 minute window or something. Like we both have to learn the same language and code yeah. a snake in it in 90 minutes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and we only get vowels. Yeah. <laughs> You can only copy paste letters from the internet. Yeah. Or you have to eat a sock every hundred characters you type or something. We can, we can only paste from Stack Overflow. Yes. We have to build this yeah, yeah. from Stack Overflow in 90 minutes. <laughs> I want to see dictation only, where you just you yeah. can only Oof. talk. <laughs> that would be no crazy. No typing. Yeah. <laughs> um, Carol F says, I'd love to help out with designing. Yeah, if you're interested in helping out with Battlesnake, always looking for people to help us out. I'm on Slack. Um, I'm also on Discord, but I'm on Slack more often. Uh, you can always just reach out to me directly um, or email us at uh, email us at hello at battlesnake.com and we'll get it. So if, if anyone's interested in either coming on stream and hanging out with Joe and I um, or helping out with uh, Battlesnake platform development, uh, let us know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Brad and Joe read Stack Overflow. That does have a nice ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, a, that's at least 100 viewers. Easy. There yeah. Who, who wouldn't watch that? I mean, this is just basic development. <laughs> this, is all, this is all just branding. Yeah. Yeah. We won't that's even, exciting. We won't even need major tournaments anymore. It'll just be... Just that. Just, just Brad, Brad and Joe. Joe. <laughs> Brad and Joe. 60 it's hours a week. 100 oh, years, Brad and Joe. I'm worried about how much <laughs> we've talked about this now. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Uh, all right. Well, Brad, uh, thanks so much for coming on today. Uh, that was all, all super exciting news that uh, I can, we all have just found about today on stream. So <laughs> super, super looking forward to the fall league, super looking forward to a winter classic tournament. Can't wait for that to come up. And uh, yeah, reminder to everyone, the Battlesnake Duels Challenge Arena is up and running. Get yourself in there. Uh, also uh, get involved with the division qualifiers because you do need to qualify to get into the tournament uh yeah i mean anything else that i'm missing here uh next next, next it live yeah november 5th uh that's gonna be a saturday morning well not morning uh, 11 a.m pacific time two o'clock eastern time there's time for brunch one. beforehand it's it's not really Quick morning brunch. exactly yeah. exactly yeah <laughs> uh yeah give one more shout out to our sponsors rbc github and replit thank you so much for making this all possible and thank you, Twitch chat, for tuning in today and uh, making 
every episode is fun when you guys are here to interact with and hang out with. So yeah, thank you, you guys for making it possible as well. This, this, yeah, really levels up the whole experience for everyone, I think. So um, yeah, and thanks Brad for letting us out of the cave and uh, coming by. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. let's back to the cave. Get back, back in. To the cave. All right, let's <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, thanks guys, see you next time. Bye y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.